So, due to high demand, um, I'm going to be making a quick master node setup tutorial because I know a lot of people are having trouble and they'd like to see a, uh, a video form. So, I'm pretty much going to be following my forum posts with the guide. Um, so, if you ever get lost or anything or I don't clarify something specifically, you can always look back to this and kind of replace what I didn't say or whatever. So, where we're going to start is I'm going to be pretending like I have another 10k pivx to spend on a master node lol and I'm going to use a f quote unquote fake linux uh bps I already have a master node running on this and I just renamed my data folder to pivx2 so I could kind of replicate um so we're going to start off is you're going to want two things um on the master node dot config or correction, I don't know why I said that, but um, on the masternode server uh, you're going to download the appropriate wallet um, since I'm running Linux, I'm going to use Linux, so I would copy link address, I would type in the commands wget and I would hit enter and I would get that, I'm not going to do it, I already have it, I don't need to wait for that um, something else you're going to need to download, which I don't have the link here for but I'll have it in the description and you could easily find it around in Slack is the uh, latest blockchain uh, chain state and basically that's gonna give you an uncorrupted you know clean blockchain backup and it'll save a lot of time if you don't want to wait for it um, let's see where we're at okay so for the requirements you're gonna need 10,000 pip or more um, you're gonna need a main computer um, this tutorial set up so it has a main controller wallet and then it also has a, um, a VPS remote um, you could also replace this with your own computer and make this your master node as long as your main wallet. You could use a Pi, you can do whatever you want, really. It's the same practice, just in different formats. Um, you're going to need said master node server. You're going to need a unique IP address for each master node. Uh, so that's each, like, uh, you know, bold, italicized, because that's important. Um, basically, for those who don't understand how this whole master node thing works, or whatever you're you're not keeping any of the coins on the VPS you're keeping everything in your home wallet uh, where's my wallet you're keeping everything in your wallet so like I have two master nodes so I, I'm gonna have like 20 grand in PIV here and I don't lose that but um, they're locked and I can't take it out unless I want to throw my master node offline so in practice you're basically giving you the proof of your account address having 10,000 as collateral you're basically using the proof to power the master node um, I don't know if that's that's how I take it that's I think that's easy to, easier to explain and you'll see how that works later so um, so yeah we're gonna assume that um, you install the wallet on your desktop or your laptop or whatever and you've run it at least once and you have sort of a grip how to use it a little bit um, for this you're gonna wanna unzip your um, your pivx client um, I already did you're also gonna wanna run it once um, it's gonna ask you for it's gonna ask you f to add something called an RPC user, an RPC password. This basically allows you to use the command line function and so you don't have to use the GUI or anything if you want to do a command line. I guess you could use the GUI, I just haven't used it. Um, I don't really have... it's probably the same, I'm just using the command line for the example. So you're going to make sure you at least run that once and then it's going to ask you to add something to the config. You could add that um, and that's fine. So now um, you're going to start at the main wallet or the controller wallet. You're going to open your debug console. You're going to make sure you're unlocked and I'm unlocked. And you're going to run the command masternode gen key. And what this is going to do, it's going to generate a private key for your masternode. And you'll use that later. Um, the second step is you're going to use the command get account address and you're going to paste that in here, space, and then you're going to name your master node. So one of mine is named Crush for whatever reason, and the other one's named Pivx2. So let's just name this master node 1 and 
I'm not going to make a new one, I already have to, but um, you would get your account address for your master node and the private key. And you don't want to show the private key to anyone. If anyone tries to help you, um, whenever I help someone, I tell them to hide it from me because I just, it, it's just, I don't want to be responsible for anything. I just want to help, honestly. Like, So if I ever try to help you, like, I'm not trying to scam you, you know? Um, and then you want to take that address you got from the second step and you're going to want to send 10,000 PIV to each address if you make multiple master nodes in this case we would just be sending one batch of 10k to one of the addresses and then after you do that um, you're going to want to run the command master node outputs okay, let me select that so I don't have to type it So you're going to enter this and it's going to give you the transaction IDs of both or one of the 10,000 cent. Uh, I have two master nodes, so I have two. So you're going to take all those you just used. You're going to want to navigate to your pivx dot or your pivx data folder. In Linux, it'll be, you know, the little the little tilde thing and dot or slash dot pivx. Um, for Windows sake, it'll be percent app data slash pivx, which will bring you to your roaming filter, and then inside the roaming filter is pivx. Um, if you don't know how to open this, it's uh, the Windows key plus R at the same time. And then you're gonna, for me personally, um, I I have mine in another drive, my pivx, and then I just made a pivx too for the sake of the tutorial. So you're going to have you know, a bunch of files, a uh, couple folders. You're going to find the masternode.config file. You're going to open that. You're going to find a blank file relatively, and you're going to have three commented outlines. These don't actually execute. These are just for examples. Um, you could use those as the format. I also list a format. Um, you could use either or, really. Um, so basically, the general concept is the first word is going to be your alias. Uh, for simplicity's sake, I'm going to use master node 1. Uh, the next line is going to be your IP, colon 51472. For those who don't know what the colon is, you're basically establishing what port it's going to run off of, and that's the port we use the master nodes. So, for example, I'll use this is my, you're going to have a different IP. Um, if you're using VPS, it's going to be the VPS's IP. So in my case, mine is like 2.2 two point correction <laughs> two one two point two thirty seven whatever but uh, I'm just gonna use I'm not gonna save this so it doesn't matter so you're gonna put your VPS's or whatever IP in here uh, and you're gonna add four seven two to that and you're gonna have this you're gonna want to get your master node gen key which aka your private key you're gonna get the return from that command and you're gonna throw that on the next line, so I'm just going to type master node gen key, and then the next line is going to be one, the first of uh, the master node outputs command. So you're going to take this, I'm just going to use this one for example, and I'm going to paste that, and then the last little word slot is going to be the index, which in this case is one, it might be zero for you and then you want to hit control s and save it i'm not going to save it uh... just a side note this if you're if you're running like a, another computer inside your own house this is going to need to be your external ip in a way you could get your external ip is to going to like see my ip.com i'll link that too if you need that and you're going to put that here you cannot use your local ip or you're going to have problems <coughs> okay so we did that you're gonna go to your pivx.config in your pivx data directory still on your main computer you're gonna open that um, you're gonna have a bunch of lines you might actually that's a lie you're, you're gonna have nothing you might have staking if you stake um, otherwise you're gonna wanna copy from max connections up and you're gonna wanna paste that in there under your staking or above whatever and you're going to replace this with your username and password or you could make a new one uh, for those who don't know what these actually are um, they basically just let you use the command line really um, 
you could save and close that. And now, okay, now you're done with the wallet, the controller wallet, so you're going to want to save it, close it, restart it. Now you're going to go head over to your masternode server, in this case it's my VPS. Um, you're going to navigate to your PIVX data folder, so for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be using the PIVX21. In reality, it would be PIVX without the two. Um, I'm going to use Nano for my preferred text editor. You could if you want. Um, and then you're going to type in the little squiggly slash, which indicates your home directory of the current user logged in. You're going to, um, and then you're going to navigate to the folder. You're going to add another slash, and then pivx.config. And in this case, I cleared out my config file, and just so I could replicate it for the tutorial. You're going to copy what I have here, and you're going to paste it. <clears throat> of course, it's not going to format correctly. That would be too convenient. So you're going to want to format everything, put everything to the left. Um, basically, what all these mean are you have some of the same lines from the you have some of the same lines from the one you used on your controller wallet. Um, it adds a few. It adds master node equals one, which basically denotes that this will be a master node. Um, it's going to have its own username, password, all that jazz. It's also going to have these three lines. Um, these all need to be your same external IP. Um, actually, this is these. There we go. So these are going to all need to be your same IP. Uh, whether you're using your home IP because you have a computer there or you have a VPS, you're going to have to replace these with those. And then the last line is your masternode private key. And you're going to go back to the code you got from step one, masternode gen key. And you're going to paste that here. You're going to save it. You're going to, let's see, what's next? You're going to close, restart the masternode wallet. Um, if it's already running, you could use the command pivx cli, sorry, pivx cli, and stop. It's going to stop. I'm not going to run that. I don't want my master node to stop. Then you can run pivx d again, and what that'll do is it'll it'll cut the line, and then it'll say uh, you know pivx server starting whatever. And then to confirm it's working, you're going to want to run pivx.cli get info. Um, if it's finished loading the block index or whatever, it'll have this. You're going to want to look at this number, the 563,278. This is how, like, what block is it up to. Um, and then you're going to look at the number found here. And you're going to make sure it's within one or two of them. So in this case, this is one block ahead because this might have been reporting a block late or something, I don't know. Um, if those check out good, good, you're synced up, you don't have to worry about that. Um, <clears throat> what's next? Uh, Alright, time to start it. So um, after you restarted this wallet, you want to come here, you're going to make sure it's unlocked, you're going to type in masternode start alias, and then if ours was MN1, you could put whatever you made your masternode um, master node alias and then you're gonna hit enter if you did it right everything checks out you're gonna see the lines overall it's gonna say two two or one whatever you have uh, started successfully you're gonna see the alias and the word successful so it checks out from this side as long as you don't get any errors and then you want to run the commands pivx cli master node status and again it's gonna say something it's gonna tell your public address and it's going to say successfully started. So then you're going to want to look to your master nodes and you're going to see I have two. So um, this one's running from seven days, this one's running from five days. And so yeah, um, after about 10-20 minutes it's going to start saying the active time. If it doesn't, uh, there might be something else wrong. Um, just a side note, this button doesn't work. Um, not sure about these. This one definitely doesn't work. You're gonna have to use the command line for that. Um, I guess uh, proper common issues I've had with setting this up is I tried to smudge this sim with another VPS I had, and 
it would run out of resources and it would stop. You don't want this to stop for more than an hour. Um, this needs to be running 24-7. Um, you might need a new VPS if you don't have enough RAM. Um, if you're having a problem with your IP, you're going to want to make sure your firewall and everything or whatever is checked out. Um, you could remove the line uh, bind equals if you're having, if it says something about this bind, unable to bind or whatever, you could remove this line. Um, that's been, I've, I've collected that that's the common practice to fix that problem and it's worked for the people I've helped. I personally don't have a problem with it, but you know, who knows. Um, and I guess that's about it. Um, you should start receiving your master node rewards anywhere from three to five, maybe a week. Um, I got mine, I think, around day four. So yeah, um, if, any, if you have any more questions, you know, you know where to catch me at Slim Jim. Um, yeah, have a good one.